Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. Take a quick second and say thank you, thank you, thank you to my channel members. I appreciate you all so much. And I also want to welcome any of you who might be new to the channel or just stopping through to check out a little content. If you have the time, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. I'll keep bringing you content. Just love for you to subscribe. So anyways, also this is just my IG. If y'all are ever over there, if you want to give me a follow, we can connect over there at jevans underscore knife addict underscore life, just like the channel here. But today I want to talk about a really cool reimagining of an old friend, of an old knife that was probably, when I got back into the knife game 2020, it probably was in the top, one of the first five knives that I brought into my now new collection. Um, and I'm talking about the QSP Penguin. This is the QSP Penguin slip joint. The original QSP Penguin is a iconic knife. Everybody, I would almost think everyone has heard of or seen the penguin in either its original form, mine, before I gave it away, was the denim blue micarta with just a simple um, liner lock, fantastic action, and a style and shape that worked very well for me. Um, I had that knife for years, I'm like two and a half years, and then on a Friday night flicks one night or on another live, I gave it away to somebody who, you know, hopefully is enjoying it. Um, and then I saw this knife be released, which is the QSP Penguin slip joint. And when I saw that it was released in a slip joint, I immediately jumped on it. And this knife's actually available in two different price points, many different colorways, two different price points. I jumped on the entry level price point, which I want to say was right around $63. And it's got a uh, 14C 28N blade, G10 scales. And I was not expecting this red G10 liner before you get to these stainless steel liners. Um, wonderfully executed back spring. Wonderfully executed half stop. This really shouldn't have surprised me because the Hedgehog was such a great slip joint. but Guys, what I can say about this QSP Penguin is it is a fantastic knife for someone who likes slip joints, for someone who doesn't like slip joints, for someone who might be thinking, is a slip joint something that would fit in my EDC? This is a great entry-level slip joint that's going to be on the larger size, but I think that would show you or show someone how absolutely useful these are. The spring is very tight here, and you've got this choil built into the ricasa. So if this knife were to come shut while I had my hand in the regular grip, it is not going to cut my finger because my finger is in that choil. However, I'm not going to be holding the knife back here. I'm going to be up in this choil at least some because the knife just lends itself to it. If I'm doing a lot of cuts, or if I'm doing some fine detail cut or utility cuts or some pinch grip cuts. But if I'm doing just regular, say, cutting down, breaking down cardboard, um, not the perfect knife for it. I'd probably choose a locking knife. But again, you've got your finger in this choil. This knife's not going to close on you as long as you're paying attention to what you're doing. So the QSP Penguin Slip Joint has really surprised me in how strong and how solid this knife is. So much so that I have been entertaining the thought and have not completely ruled out the thought of getting this particular specimen in its more premium variation, which is a 20 CV blade. And then it's got various different carbon fiber handles, both in a blacked out blade or in a brush satin blade like this one is here in the 14 C. But guys, just a really neat knife. Again, I'd come and gone with the Penguin many times because I loved it. I had it. It was one of my first knives. 
I think it was $32 when I got it. I felt like I had outgrown it. I had other knives that were filling that void. So I gifted it to somebody else. And then when this one came around, I had to jump on it. And I'm just telling you guys, it is that good. It's perfectly centered. Very easy to open and close. If you were going to rate this, I'd give this a six and a six, 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 seven. But it's a modern slip joint, meaning you don't have to worry because of the way that this is set up of getting any blade wrap. That tang is hitting before anything else hits. And I actually carry this because it doesn't come with a clip. It's a slip joint, but I picked up one of these traditional pocket knives, large slips, and it rides perfectly in there. You could probably ride in the medium slip. But let's get a couple of quick size comparisons to show you guys. I wish I had my regular penguin here, but let's look at it next to the bug out. And let's look at what I have in my pocket is. The Riot XOM, much smaller than the XOM, smaller than the bug out. I bet you, if I had to guess, let's look at it next to Baby Banter. It's going to be a good bit bigger than the mini bug out. Let's look at it next to a couple of slip joints. Because to me, it seems like a larger. A larger platform. Now this is the traditional pocket knives Ohio River Jack. And this is the QSP Hedgehog. So the penguin you can tell is a good bit larger than both of those knives. I'd say about a half inch, maybe an inch. I'm not great with dimensions. And we'll look at it next to a couple of Little flex knives. Look at it next to Great Eastern Cutlery, Yellow Rose Barlow. There's a larger slip joint, but still larger than that. Let's look at it next to the Jack Wolf Low Drag Jack. And it's larger than the Low Drag Jack. So let's see what that means when we get an actual tape measure and see what this thing links out at and what it weighs. So again, of all the times I wish I had my penguin, I'd love to have it to compare because I bet you they're the same size. Seven inches, exactly. Three inch blade, four inch handle. Right over two and a quarter, two and a quarter inch cutting area. And then what I consider the grip to this troil is four inches from here to here. That is a four inch dimension. So again, I think it's a very, very comfortable, comfortable gripping knife. Let's see, um, blade thickness looks the same. Not that I would have it to compare to. 0.1195 behind the spine. And then if we go up here, sharpening edge, even though we know I can't get these measurements, 0 .1, 0 0.0170. And then the handle thickness, it is a slip joint, 0 .4385. So right under a half an inch. And we might as well get you guys a weight. Because I'm thinking it's going to come in lighter. Maybe not 3.85 ounces. And again, for a while I carried this just open in my pocket. Then I switched this slip out. Whoops. As an upside down dropper. Then I put it in this slip to keep the funk out of it. And in that slip, it's going to be 4.75, but that's just riding in the bottom of my pocket. So guys, if I were to recommend 
someone their first slip joint. Um, the QSP Penguin, except for the fact that it's a little bit larger knife, is one that I would recommend. I would recommend that knife, or I would recommend the micarta version of the QSP Hedgehog. This has got a deep hollow grind, and I think for QSP is killing it in the slip joints. So I would feel comfortable telling anybody who watches my channel, who's my friend, who knows me, that you can't go wrong with a QSP Hedgehog if you want to try a really cool modern slip joint. And the Penguin, as good as it is in a locking knife, it is that good in a slip joint. I think they're both great knives. Um, I think the Penguin is a fantastic knife. It's proven, guys. I mean, the design's tested and it's true, but the slip joint is just taking it to another level. And I think it's really cool. I am stoked to have it. Like I said, I'll probably be upgrading it at some point. This might make its way to a giveaway. We'll have to see. But thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out the content. And thank you for subscribing if you felt so inclined. Thank you, thank you, channel members. And everyone, if you would just please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose to bait, not hate. I love you all. Peace.